Yesterday at Google I.O., Google announced Android Go. In this video, let's take a look at what it is and how it might affect you. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get started. So what is Android Go? It's a game where you walk around hunting for Android updates. Okay, not really. So a while back, if you remember, Google launched the YouTube Go app, a lightweight version of YouTube that's optimized to run on lower end phones and also one that consumes lesser data. It lets you download videos and share them with each other to save on data. Turns out it was a part of a larger and grander plan. So yesterday, Google also announced that Android's currently running on 2 billion devices and that there are also a ton more Android users in markets like India these days. Given a lack of a contract system in these markets, most people end up buying low to mid-end phones. Android Go is aimed to help enhance that Android user experience on these low-end phones. So how is that done? Well, Google's addressing this issue on three fronts. First, the OS itself, streamlining it to use fewer resources, adding stuff like data management to the quick settings, putting it front and center, working with service providers to add a top-up option right from there. Secondly, with apps like YouTube Go to help people conserve data. Google Chrome is another that would come with data saver enabled on these devices. Also, Gboard's additional language support should help with Android Go adoption. Finally, with the Google Play Store. While phones running Android Go will have access to all the same apps as phones running regular Android, the difference here is that Google will be featuring apps that are optimized for Android Go right on the front page. Basically, apps that offer better offline usage with APK files smaller than 10 MB. So which phones are we talking about? Well, if you're watching this video, then you probably are somebody who's online quite a bit and are open to buying phones online. And when we talk budget phones, your mind jumps to the Redmi's and the Lenovo's. But that's not what Android Go is aimed at. Brands that sell online a lot have had at least 2 gigs of RAM on their phones for over a year now. Hell, something like the Redmi 4 even has a 4 gig RAM variant now. Android Go, on the other hand, is aimed at phones with 512 megs to 1 gig of RAM. Starting with Android O, these phones will get a Go variant of Android by default and Google states future releases of Android will come with a Go variant too. So here's my take. Android Go seems to be a great initiative from Google, a spiritual successor to the Android One program. But given that Android O is not out yet and usually it takes months after the official release for brands to come up with phones running on the latest variant of Android and it takes even longer for low-end phones from these brands to come out with the latest version of Android. Hell, some brands are still launching phones with Android Marshmallow. Best case, I'm going to expect Android Go phones to be coming out early 2018. But remember what I said about budget phones these days coming with 2, 3 and hell even 4 gigs of RAM? With technology moving forwards quite rapidly, I really hope brands don't release phones with 1 gig of RAM or less. I mean, if a phone with a 430 chip and 2 gigs of RAM can be sold at 6,000 rupees today, I'd expect something like that to be priced much cheaper next year. As good as the Android Go initiative sounds, in all fairness, something like this shouldn't exist in my opinion. But then again, brands are brands and they will continue coming out with underspec phones that they can sell thanks to their marketing might and offline presence. So sad as it might be, Android Go should be a help for people who end up buying these phones. So that's it guys, all you need to know about Android Go. Hope you found this video helpful. If you didn't, feel free to vote it down, but if you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you have already subscribed, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified every time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. So that's it for now, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year is Ash signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.